Hi, I'm John Paul Caponegro. Hi, and I'm Joyce Tennyson. Joyce, one of the things you've been photographing for so long, and I've heard you speak about in many different ways many times, is skin. It's clear it's a passion for you, and pardon the pun, but there seem to be a lot of different layers to it for you, not just its physical appearance, but also uh, the way that people connect through it. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about what you found out about skin and what it means to you? I've always been uh, fascinated by skin and the way light transforms it. I love all colors of skin, all body types. When I did my book, Transformations, people were very surprised to see me showcase very uh, heavy set um, uh, people as well. Right. And I... Yeah, old and young people old too. Old and young, all body types. And I, I find it fascinating. The sculptural qualities, the the way light transforms skin, uh, you know, the, the way age transforms skin. Yeah. I mean, when I did my book uh, of portraits of women 65 to 100, that was one of the most fascinating things. Um, people in their 90s often become bird-like, and their skin becomes <laughs> so translucent, and it's fragile, like, like you know, parchment paper, or... Uh, and I, I was very inspired to show, you know, the, the neck and the, the shoulders uh, in my 90-year-old subjects because they, they did look very bird-like to me. Mm. So, sometimes people consider these soul cages just things that, can, that contain spirit. There's, there's another line of thought that that spirit comes through into the, the physical flesh and it somehow transforms it, not just through the life lived and the experiences, but also the character. Mm -hmm. Do you think that character comes out in the way that a body transforms over time? I do. I think that uh, what I really am so affected by is the energy that comes off of people as we interact. And, you know, when you say somebody has great energy, it has, it, it really is saying a lot. It means that somehow their life force is positive and that it somehow radiates out. And the older I get, the more I really uh, desire being around people of who have an inner radiance and that are somehow people who uh, are not self-absorbed, uh, people who are interested in helping others and people who uh, have a larger sense of, of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are there any times that you don't like skin? No. It sounds like not. Right. I'm just going back. Skin is eternally fascinating to me. Yeah. I just never stop uh, looking and and recording and, and uh, being surprised. Yeah. So there's this notion of skin deep, of staying up on the surface. And, and I think the interesting thing that, that comes out of, at least the phrase or the challenge, is that how do you get to other aspects of a person, the interior of a person, the character, when you're photographing the surface? I think a lot about this in terms of all kinds of photography. Mm -hmm. We're photographing light coming off the surface of physical things, and, mm -hmm. and there's so much more behind it. Um, so many other dimensions that in some cases are intangible. What are some of the kinds of things that you do to try and go deeper and below the surface, and how, how do you try and get the surface to reflect that or to communicate that? It's a great question. I People often ask me how I get my subjects to reveal themselves. Um, and I, I, it's very simple. I am present. Mm. When I am present with someone, I connect. And I'm, I'm not thinking about my list of things to do and appointments I have later in the day and, you know, all of those other, you know, more trivial uh, kinds of uh, things that happen in life. But when I'm really present with someone and I feel that it gives them the safety and permission to reveal themselves. And it's not a one-way street. As I reveal myself more, they mirror that and feel safe to, to reveal themselves. And I think that's what makes an interesting 
uh, portrait or it makes life more interesting um, if, if you're really present. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and with nature too. I know your dad always talks about uh, his work in Ireland and, and the way he was present. Um, so I think it's true for any subject. I think so. I, this new series that I'm working on now um, of trees, I, I feel that by really wanting to be there, wanting to be uh, really transported in some way, um, and waiting until something reveals itself that's really I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. um, so do you think it's that in looking more closely, or perhaps in a more open way, you're able to see other aspects? Or is it that we also put aside some of the concerns of the ego so that we can be more present? Or do you think there's also a possibility that even beyond people, other subjects somehow reveal more to themselves simply by that, that presence of consciousness of being fully there and accepting? Well, I think those, that, that question raises many other questions. I do think that, that uh, things reveal themselves more fully when they feel the energy of someone present. Hmm. Now, even in modern physics, we know that observation That's changes right. at least the dynamic. Absolutely. We'll keep pondering those questions. That's right. You know, it's, it's such a fascinating question for photographers because, after all, light writing is photography. <laughs> and so, what are we, what are we writing? You know, what is our, our uh, what is our writing saying? You know? Yeah, we don't want to really answer those questions, yeah, but just holding them leads to so many other things, as you mentioned before. Thank you for it's sharing. A fascinating, all that. fascinating subject. <laughs>